The gold cap currently in Wizard101 is around 500,000. However, there are ways to get past this amount for you to effectively have access to more gold than 500,000. Now you may be asking, why would I ever need to go past the gold limit? Isn't 500,000 gold enough? And my answer to this is really depends on the type of player that you are. For your average Wizard101 player, maybe not. However, if you're heavily into housing, pet hatching, cantrips, crafting, etc., you might find yourself selling snacks or reagents for a little extra gold at times. So how does one go past the 500,000 gold limit? The answer is simple, assets. You you can think of an asset as an item that holds value that you can later sell for currency. A good example of this is Empowers. Empowers sell for 2,000 gold in the bazaar and is often looked at as the tradable currency in the Wizard 101 community. However, the problem with Empowers is one, the only way to my knowledge of farming in them is through plants, which is slow. And number two, Empowers cannot be moved to your other characters. So what happens when your other character is low on gold? You're gonna spend 10 days farming for a 60 plop couch potato farm and then spend another four days to harvest for 20 empires which will sell at a maximum of 40,000 gold that takes too long what if you need some gold on the spot or even on a different character my alternative for this is the cow pearl amulet or really any item that is mass farmable and sells for a good chunk of money the cp amulet is a well-known item to farm to sell for gold however once you reach max gold for farming why not keep going think about it this way one cow pearl amulet sells for 8,000 gold. One gear vault holds 100 amulets. One house can hold two gear vaults. Your character can have four houses while also having a dorm. A full vault of CP amulets is equivalent to 800,000 gold. Suddenly, your character's max gold isn't 500,000, but 1.3 million. But why stop there? That's only one vault. Your character with four houses in a dorm can have a total of nine vaults. Suddenly, your max gold cap is over 7 million for one character. Now let's say you have six characters. You're looking at 40 million gold all transferable across all of your characters and all it takes is one housing slot. Now instead of having a gold cap for 500,000, it's 40 million. It just takes a little bit of farming and you'll find yourself never ever ever running out of gold ever again. Now, the next thing you know, you're not selling pet snacks, treasure cards, or empowers for money, you're selling assets. And you can take your spare empowers and buy things with them. Fun fact, it only takes 36 hours of farming gold to buy a one month membership. Gotta be a five head in these streets, my boy.